Hello and welcome to Just Hoops. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the greats of women's basketball in Sue Bird. She is a four-time WNBA champ, five-time Olympic gold medalist, 13-time All-Star, and the WNBA all-time leader in assists. She's one of the goats of women's basketball and has really changed the game in a variety of ways. But in this video, we're going to dive into her ability to make plays in the pick and roll. Here are some stats that apply to her game in the pick and roll. Her pick and roll field goal percentage, both her shots and her assists is 44.2 and her points per possession is .961. She's highly efficient with the ball in her hands, but in this video we're going to dive into two separate aspects of her game with the ball in her hands in pick and roll situations. Starting with her ability and how she scores the ball in the pick and roll. First, in terms of her ability to score, her ability to change her pace is huge. Changing pace is a great tool to use, especially in pick and roll situations, to set up the screen and make the defense have to react. This clip here does an awesome job at showing how change of pace creates space. She slows down and as the screen gets set, she speeds up to come off that pick. The defender gets caught on the screen, giving her the ability to set her feet and rise up. Here's another great example we'll slow down. She gets the ball. As you see, she comes off the screen. She does that little skip to slow down, then speed up. Gets the defense caught on the screen, creates a ton of space between her and the drop, and allows her to rise up. This change of pace really makes it difficult for a defender to stay connected, to always have a hand or arm in a place that could affect the shot. And this is one reason why Sue Bird is so successful in the pick and roll. Now let's talk about her footwork that allows her to be successful in terms of scoring the ball. Her feet are active and quick. As you can see in this clip, as she comes off the screen, she does an awesome job at first identifying that she has space, and then secondly, getting her feet down fast. That quick stop allows her to elevate over the defense and beat them to the air. This clip here, the defense stays pretty connected, but because of her quick feet, Getting down and rising up, she beats the defense to the air, allowing a tough shot to be a lot easier than it really is. By Sue getting her feet down quick consistently, it allows her to take advantage of whatever space she can create off of picks. This is a huge reason why she has been so successful for such a long time in the W. Now let's dive into her playmaking and passing ability out of the pick and roll. First, we're going to talk about how she sets up screens and how that creates success in the pick and roll. This first clip here, look at how she gets the defense below the point of the screen and she comes off low and aggressive, forcing the defense to have to commit to her, opening up space for the pass and the open three for Stewie. This clip here, you'll also see how this change of direction and getting deep below the level of the screen allows her to come off hard and aggressive. Look at how low she is. Her shoulder is to the hip of the screener, allowing the defense to be caught in a weird situation and opening up the roll. This clip here, you'll see that she jabs to drop the defender a little bit, allowing her to come off, and then she takes her time and makes a simple play to Stewie. You can see throughout all these clips how crucial it is for Suber to set up her pick and roll, set up the ball screen, and it allows her to be successful and create opportunities for herself and her teammates. Not being afraid of contact, playing under control with great pace is all huge in making plays out of the pick and roll. Here's where the savviness of Sue Bird's game is seen with her ability to manipulate the defense in the pick and roll. She'll drag them out, she'll use her eyes, she'll use ball fakes, she'll change her pace. All of these things can cause confusion and create open opportunities for her teammates in the pick and roll. In this clip here against Minnesota, you can see that because she slows down off the screen and is taking her time, it created a switch and a great opportunity for Stewie. In this clip here, you'll see she comes off the screen, identifies the next, and is able to just make that next pass to the open player on the wing. These little subtleties are huge in being successful in basketball at any level. Just understanding where the defense is going, what they want to do, and just manipulating them by taking an extra dribble or using your eyes is huge in being a high-level playmaker. And finally, Sue Bird is just an elite passer with the ability to pass with either hand, the ability to pass in a multitude of fashions, the ability to play under control, play off of one or two feet. She's rarely rushed. She's a terrific passer with the ability to throw with either hand on time and on target. You can see in these clips, there's hook passes, there's lobs, there's wraparounds, there's single hand or both hand bounce passes. She's playing off of one foot, off of two foot. She is just awesome at what she does 
and it's incredible to watch these clips that she just understands when and where her teammates will be open and she puts the ball there on time and on target consistently. To become an elite passer like this, it takes a great feel for the game of basketball, a great poise to your play, not being rushed, being under control, understanding how fast you can play with the control of the ball. And then lastly, it takes work. You gotta be able to watch film. You gotta be able to know what your opponent's trying to do. You gotta know what your teammates like to do. And this is what Sue Bird did and what made her the all-time assist leader in the W. Sue Bird epitomizes what it means to be a legend in the game of basketball and her ability to play, make, and score out of the pick and roll is a big reason why. Some takeaways from this video are her footwork in the second level off of ball screens. She gets her feet down quick, allowing her to rise up and beat the defense to the air. Another takeaway is her poise and patience with the ball in her hands. She's never rushed, she's always under control, and it allows her to see things develop around her, whether it's a scoring opportunity for herself or a scoring opportunity for a teammate through the manipulation of the defense or just knowing where her teammates going, what the defense is trying to do, and just having that insane feel and IQ for the game of basketball. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something about Sue Bird as she's nearing the end of her career with her final playoff run in Seattle. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you in the next one.